Hi, my name is uh, Dave, the Dave of all trades, and I'm making a video today to um, show, you a, show you a little fix on an ASA 5506W, which is a 5506 with a wireless built in, I think a 702. You can see it by the little LED in the back and the part number underneath. So we had a customer whose uh, power supply blew and we needed a, a, a replacement very quickly. Uh, and when you go uh, to your electronic store, some are better than others. In this case, we need 12 volts, 5 amps, which is not exactly, you know, super easy to find. I mean, if you have a bench power supply, that's probably easier to find. But I mean, as a standalone, you know, switch mode power supply, not super easy. So we looked around, didn't find anything. And then it dawned on me, I could use maybe an ATX power supply. So I took a look and if you see 12 volts, 10 amps, voila. So there you got 10 amps, we only need five, so it's perfect. By the way, I'll make a, a disclaimer here. If you do this, you will void your warranty. So A, I don't recommend you do it if you have a, your unit under warranty. And two, if you don't know anything about electronics, do not attempt this because um, it's connected to mains. And even when it's disconnected, there are two large, or more capacitors inside they can still uh, hurt you very badly uh, if you don't know how to discharge them properly but if you do know what you're doing it's an easy fix so what I did is I opened this baby up I unsoldered all the the um, 5 volt and the 3.3 volt and the the ground rails I removed all that and I left the uh, 4 pin uh, ATX connector the one that usually connects to the motherboard if you want this to work You'll have to jump inside the green wire and the ground. So the green one right here and the ground next to it. That's essentially a power good uh, wire. It tells the power supply, hey, everything is good, go on. So when it's jumped, um, your power supply will stay on all the time. So I soldered it, put a little bit of heat shrink. And I also noticed that I needed here this little brown one here. I don't know if you can see it. That is um, a 3.3 volt. Uh, sense. So you need to have that brown wire connected to anywhere on the 3.3 volt rail. Uh, so you need to jump those two. And if you do that, your power supply will stay on. So I removed everything, uh, removed all the other wires and left this. And what's interesting about this approach is on an ASA 5506, the connector is exactly the same. It's a type of uh, Molex connector you find on motherboards. It's um, it's, I believe, uh, 0 0.062 inches apart. And it's the same connector for your ASA firewall. So the ASA will take, um, the 5506 will take, let's see if I can show it here. It'll take 12 volts, 5 amps. So this power supply is, I think it's a 350, if I remember correctly. Um, or no, it's actually 200. Anyways, it's able to give out 10 amps. Uh, on the 12 volt rail. If we had other things connected on the 3.3 the and the 5, it might be able to give a little bit less. Uh, but um, since it's only the 12 volt rail, then you got your 10, um, you got your uh, 10 amps right there. So that's a quick fix. The ASA has been running for a couple of days now with this. It's perfect. It's a, an easy fix. So I just wanted to put that out there. So if any of you need to get your ASA 5506 running, Here's a quick and easy solution. It took me all of half an hour to get this up and running. Thanks and uh, have a great day.